Matt Makins here. It's time for a daily shower. Hope you're doing well. Remember, like, subscribe if you like the format of these videos. They're weather coming your way without the nonsense that you can find elsewhere. We're going to be focusing on snowfall and in some cases the first snow of the season coming to the Rocky Mountain West and the Northwest. But overall, the hazards on the way much below normal temperatures highlighted here in the blue coloration. So that's going to be from October 23rd into the 24th. And then we'll have some areas of heavy precipitation starting off the 23rd, 24th across the Dakotas. Also chances for severe weather here into Iowa on the 23rd. Heavy rainfall down to the south in Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana. That'll be on the 24th as well. High winds, another factor, 23rd into 24th. Pretty much all of this combined is part of a weather maker that's going to be moving through the area. Let's watch that in terms of temperatures. This animation shows the toes of temperatures cooling off as we go through the next couple of days. And then beyond that, we'll have another couple of periods of some cold fronts arriving, especially as we get into early November. That blast of cold will certainly be making a mark on the western U.S. But again, a couple of cold fronts do scoot through, and that's going to be the driving force of the weekend and early week change that we're going to be focusing on here in this daily shower. Wind coming along with the system will be quite annoying, especially for the northern plains, northern Rockies, and then developing down here at Four Corners region out into the southern and central plains. Wind will be a big impactor Sunday, Monday, Tuesday as the storm system swings on through. So wind a factor in addition to some of the cold temperatures. Let's talk about snowfall. That's going to be this animation. As we get into the 26th, 27th, 28th, there'll be periods of snowfall here from the central into the northern Rockies and to the Rockies up into Canada and even some of the prairies in Canada start to catch some snowfall later in this animation. But again, we're looking at the 30th there. There's Halloween. As we get into early November, that blast of cold will bring in some snowfall down to the south, even some snowfall possible in the mountains there of Arizona. But again, focusing on the next three to four days, there will be some winter impacts. Part of that may be winter driving conditions. It's been a long time since we've talked about a widespread kind of area for winter driving conditions. Everything shaded on the map in the light blue, those are going to be monitor, uh, excuse me, minor to moderate impacts for drivers driving conditions, focusing on snowfall. And again, this is going to be over the next three to four days or so, but some of the driving conditions around Flagstaff into the mountains there from Santa Fe up to Las Vegas, New Mexico, throughout the Colorado Rockies, most all of Wyoming, parts of the Dakotas, most all of Montana. We'll see some winter driving conditions, even some of the Cascades there. Just for Colorado, winter driving conditions may move into the west side of the metro area, west side of Denver, and the south side. So some of the foothill locations may see some snowfall, enough to at least bring some impact on the roadways, but certainly an impact as you go through I-70 and some of the high mountain highways and interstates. What about the freeze on the way? It will be a widespread frost and freeze event for most of the western U.S., sinking all the way down into southern New Mexico and southern Arizona. The chance for a frost or freeze there. Anything colorized on this map just represents temperatures of 36 degrees or colder, and that's going to be over the next five days or so through the weekend into early next week. Total moisture, let's focus on that for a moment. There's going to be a bullseye of heavy rainfall here, as we talked about earlier in the hazards map, from Kansas City down to the south into the Dallas-Fort Worth areas. There's a bullseye of rainfall just south of Tulsa that will measure two and a half, three inches or so. Other bullseyes of moisture pretty much stay offshore, off the east coast, but around Boston down to New York. We'll have uh, upwards of an inch or so of water. But you look at the Pacific Northwest, and we'll zoom that map in, sections of Montana, Idaho, into Washington and Oregon. We've been battling uh, wildfires plus wildfire smoke. Big fire issues in British Columbia have sent, uh, sent smoke down into the Seattle area. We're going to try to wash that away, wash not only the smoke out of the air, but some of the remaining wildfires, at least try to combat them the best we can. So some of these rainfall totals, you hit the reds into the deeper reds and the yellows, that's going above three inches into the four to five inch range. Again, some of that's going to be in the form of snowfall as the system will be cold enough. Let's talk about that now. Snowfall. Where is that snow going to fall? And it will be the first snowfall for many this season. Again, to be an official snowfall, you have to hit 0.1 inches. 
a tenth of an inch of snowfall. That's your first snowfall mark. But in a lot of cases, we're going to see some of the deeper snows for the first time this season. And that's going to be in the Rockies from, uh, say, close to Glacier, down to the south into Yellowstone, through the Tetons, down close to Park City, Utah. Sections of the Rocky Mountains in Colorado will also pick up some snowfall. This map just showing you snowfall areas. Parts of the Cascades, a couple to a few inches possible there. But again, the Rockies will be the favored area of some of the deeper snowfall, upwards of uh, 15, 16 inches in some cases. Not quite that high in Colorado, but Colorado will pick up 6 to 12 inches in some of the San Juans, uh, some of the Elks up closer to the flat top. So we're certainly seeing some deeper snows to wrap up October here for Colorado and the Rocky Mountain West. Notice how we had winter driving conditions west side of the Denver metro area, but it's not showing up as snowfall here. Snowfall, at least on my map here, won't register until you reach an inch. So if it does snowfall on the west side of the Denver metro area into the foothills there or even south side, we're likely looking at less than an inch. So it may be the first official snowfall, Again, a tenth of an inch, but as far as accumulating much depth, still not very likely for the city itself on the west or south sides. Hazards on the way for beyond this week. We've, we've talked about the snowfall, the total precip, the heavy rain areas. We've chatted about the temperature impact as well. Let's just focus on next week. What's on the horizon? What's coming in 7 to 14 days from now? And it's still going to be focusing on the western U.S. That focus will be cold. Colder than normal temperatures, covering a broad basin here all the way down into the south. Another chance for high winds will be re-emerging as we get into week number two. As you get down to the Florida, still some flooding possible there. And heavy precip, possibly some flooding areas, along with heavy wind, will be across the Pacific Northwest. So as we've talked about the hazards in this daily shower, the next one to even two weeks, we're seeing the pattern across the country reverse itself. The troughiness, the unsettled weather, is moving to the western side of the country, whereas the last couple few weeks it's been over the east side of the country. So we're reversing this pattern. I shouldn't say reversing it because the weather's not going to reverse, but you get what I mean. We're flipping the position of where that impactful weather will be to the western U.S., a great portion of, of Canada from central to western Canada in the prairies, and Alaska remains active as well. That's your latest daily shower. A lot of information to digest. Feel free to rewind. If you're a Colorado resident, I'll have a lot more on weather5280.com as we approach, in some cases, the first snowfall of the season. Be well. I'm Matt Nakins.